Hi, this is Dave Soberi with Patch.com. The last time we saw Encino Little League, they were hoisting up the District 40 banner. And now here today, they enter a new tournament, the sectional tournament. Last season, Encino made it here and won their first sectional title in 25 years. They'd love nothing more than to repeat that feat this year. Encino is ready, so let's go to the highlights. Crescenta Valley gets off to a quick start with a home run on the first pitch of the game. It's 1-0 Crescenta Valley, but Brandon Dieter responds with two strikeouts to end the inning. And in the bottom of the first, Noah Levine tells Crescenta Valley, anything you can do, I can do better. And it's going, it's going, it's gone. A solo home run for Noah Levine. But he was just getting started. It's all knotted up at one. Then, Sam Gilderman blasts a base hit up the middle, but he would be stranded on base. To the top of two we go. There's a fly ball to shallow center field. Sean Gusenberg gets on his horse and makes the sliding grab, but Crescenta Valley went right back to work, scoring six runs to take a 7-1 lead. In the bottom of the second, Michael Walsh sends it right back from where it came from for a single, and that sets the stage for Noah Levine. He rips it to dead center, and it's a one-hopper to the fence. He goes into second with a stand-up double, while Michael Walsh advances to third, but both runners would be stranded. We jump ahead to the bottom of three. Sam Gilderman leads it off by turning on a fastball for a double. Then, Josh Perlmutter takes a free pass, and Sam Gilderman reads the pitch in the dirt and swipes third base. Later, Gilderman's at it again. He shows off his jets and slides underneath the tag. It's 7-2, Crescenta Valley. On the next pitch, Sean Gusenberg takes it to the opposite field for an RBI knock, scoring Josh Perlmutter. It's 7-3, Crescenta Valley. We head to the top of four. Crescenta Valley plates two more runs to extend the lead to 9-3. Garrett Cody gets out of the inning with a filthy off-speed pitch that paints the outside corner for a called strike three. Later, Noah Levine's dominance continues. He cracks it to deep left field. Goodbye, baseball. And we're going to need to check that scoreboard for some damage because Levine just smashed it. It's his second homer of the day, and it's 9-4 Crescenta Valley. The guy was throwing a lot of off-speed to me, and it was, I think, a 2-2 count. And he didn't throw fastball for the whole count yet. So I knew he was going to throw fastball, and I just turned on. Oh, I kind of hit it the other way. But Crescenta Valley answers with seven runs in the fifth, and Sino trails 16-4. And Sino fought until the bitter end. First, Sean Gusenberg lines a base hit in the right field. Then, Grant Berman digs in and rips a single to left field. Ryan Nahamayas shows great plate discipline and draws the walk. And the bases are juiced for Noah Levine. He belts it to center field for his fourth hit and third RBI of the game. Sean Gusenberg scores and it's 16-5 Crescenta Valley. But on this day, it just wasn't meant to be for Encino. The final score, Crescenta Valley 16 and Encino 5. Some of you had good days at the plate. Everyone was hitting line drives and just none of them were falling. But sometimes that's how baseball works. So I think we need pitching and defense. I just think that we've we've proven that we can come back from anything and we can score 10 runs in an inning. So I think that, I mean, I think we're going to be fine coming up in the loser's bracket because we have depth in pitching, we have depth in hitting, so we can really go to anyone to pitch. And so I think that being in the loser bracket won't really matter. We'd, all we have to do is just work hard, win games, and do what we do best. Well... This was a tough one today because it's our first loss, but I still think we could come through the loser's bracket because in district, we did win four games in a row, so we can't think of it as like we're in the loser's bracket or anything different. We just got to think about it as we're going to come out and play our best game and we're going to win ball games. I think that since we lost this game um, and we have to go through the loser's bracket, we just have to play with a lot of heart, and we have to keep fighting no matter what happens. Just keep our heads up. I think that we're going to have to um, put in a lot of effort, and it's not easy going through the loser's bracket and winning. So we need a lot of effort and team spirit. And let's go win.